Hey guys, Bennett and Mrs. Morrow here. I'm Bennett Morrow. And we're going to read a book that we really like called Not Just a Dot. And this is by Lauren Brantz. And then we're going to think about what the message the author wants us to learn is. Okay. What does the author want us to learn? Sorry, not just a dot. Here we go. This is dot. Dot feels small and unimportant. I'm just a little old dot. Nobody needs me. Well, that's just not true, dot. I can think of plenty of people, places, and things that need you. Look at this one-eyed man, for example. Can you point to where Dot should go to be this man's second eye? I can see very well. See, Dot? You're very useful. That's just one guy. Nobody else needs me. Well, that's not very positive self-talk, is it? He's not the only one who needs you. This Dalmatian looks like he's missing a dot. Oh, sorry, there he is. Can you show dot where to go on the Dalmatian? You did it, good job. Now the Dalmatian has all his dots. And look at your new dot friends. Hi dot, I'm dot. Hey dot, nice to meet you dot, I'm Polka. Nice to dot. Yeah, Polka dot. I guess I am a little bit useful. A little? You're much more than a little bit useful. How can this little girl ask for ice cream without you on the question mark? Can I have some ice cream, please? Can you show Dot where to go on the question mark? Can I have some ice cream, please? Very good. Okay. Now she can enjoy her ice cream. Wow, I guess I am kind of useful, but I still feel too small. Are you feeling bigger? That's just silly, Dot. Look at these ants. They're small, just like you. Now, if you take a step back, they look like little dots, too. <laughs> And if we get into this hot air balloon and go way up high, eventually all those people on the ground will just be dots. And if we go even higher, the whole world and everything and everyone on it will look like a dot too. Now I see we are all just dots together. So think a little bit about what the author is trying to tell us here. Whenever you're feeling small and unimportant, what can you think about? Think about how other people might see the world. Think about how you see the world. Think about that word perspective, how you look at things. And think about how dot felt so small but then went further and further out and saw that there are lots of little things that might feel small and unimportant, but they're really not. So what do you do when you're feeling small and unimportant? Hope you guys are feeling big and important today.